Good morning, y'all. Long time no see. It is April the 13th. Um, gosh, there's so much I have to tell y'all. I'm going to uh, take a nap one of these days in the afternoon and then I'll wake up and I won't be able to go back to sleep and I'll upload this eight or ten videos. You can watch them or not. won't bother me at all. I tried to answer comments uh, the other day and I did not get very far and I am sorry. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's been going on with me and Mr. Terry. Now, y'all, we both get irritated pretty easily. Well, not that easily, but, you know, um, let me see if I can think of an example. I have to be very honest about something first. Sometimes, not always, it's hard for me to be cleaning and doing laundry and doing dishes and doing all that stuff that it takes to keep a household going and cooking. <laughs> um, so, occasionally, when I'm washing dishes and he's sitting over there reared back in that great big monster recliner and he's watching television. Now, I get a little resentful sometimes. And then, you know, I catch myself and I'm like, he's 20 years older than you. Um, but we are always going to have our ups and downs, but the beautiful thing about our relationship is that we'll blow up, then we get over it, and we move on. Neither one of us ruminates on something like, oh, I can't believe he did that, blah, 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 blah. We just, I mean, we get over it. We just hug and make up. Or one of us will start making, cracking jokes, you know, and then we start laughing. But y'all, we are doing really well. And I knew that we would. Now, I'm going to tell you something. First of all, Terry could never live alone. Okay? He couldn't live alone. He could not keep an apartment clean. Uh, he couldn't cook for himself. He couldn't do his laundry. He could not shop for himself. But let me tell you a little story. By the way, I'm on my way to Kohl's. You see all those boxes? Those are Amazon boxes. Yeah. They're Amazon boxes. And that's a whole other story right there. But anyway, um, a month or so ago, a couple of months ago, there were a lot of times that Terry was just struggling to make sense. And it just, you know, all kinds of stuff. He was struggling to put... A sentence together and um, but let me tell you how he is now now we know that was caused by him being on hospice and if any of y'all don't know about hospice look him up his diagnosis was terminal Alzheimer's Um, terminal Alzheimer's, okay? 
which was a total lie. And hospice takes you off all of your life sustaining drugs, medications, or almost all of them. Well, you can imagine when somebody has been taking an antidepressant, someone has been taking glipizide for their uh, diabetes, someone who has been taking Synthroid, which y'all know that uh, controls a lot of things. Let's see, what else did they take away from me? I, I can't even remember. They weren't testing a sugar ever. So this is how Terry is now. Um, his daughter got him off of hospice because I said I'm not going to be his uh, POA for anything until he's off of that hospice because I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. So they did. And then y'all know we've had care. I, I can't say we. I never found any of them. But most of them were horrible. Now, Terry can be ornery and stubborn. And he can get a little nasty sometimes. He's not perfect. But to walk out on a man in the middle of the night, two of them did that. And the first time he ended up in the hospital with that horrible urinary tract infect infection and then got sepsis. So, I took him to see his uh, primary care physician, Dr. Hurd. She's amazing. She uh, talked to him, um, asked him questions. Do you feel like you want to resume this medication? Yes. I want whatever will help me to get well. He even knew, as messed up as that poor man was from them screwing up his medication, he even knew that he could get better. So, um, Dr. Hurd, um, she had, you know, we had a double uh, appointment there and um, prescribed his medications correctly. And, um, and then after a little bit, she increased them. And let me tell you about Terry now. And we'll do a video. We've just been so busy. It has been just mind boggling. But, the other day, where did I go? Um, oh, probably over at Walmart to pick up groceries. And I had a sink full of dishes. He had washed, oops, he had washed all the dishes. And I thought, oh my word, Ugh, how am I discreetly going to be able to rewash these dishes? They were perfect. They were perfect. And, um... We got him a new razor. He shaves himself. He dresses himself. He makes his bed. 
and he doesn't like to do it. But if he has to, I put everything you need to make a sandwich, except for the bread, in a Lazy Susan that I bought for the refrigerator. It's got mayonnaise, mustard, cheese, whatever lunch meat we're doing, uh, lettuce, tomato. It's got everything. He likes his sandwiches loaded. And he likes peanut butter. But he used a sugarless peanut butter. And, um, and I kind of, you know, watch him a little bit on that. Now, Y'all, that's amazing. And one of the big reasons that he was able to be put on hospice is because he went to the hospital for no reason. He would not stay sitting or lying down, so they drugged him. Then they put him in the rehab where they continued to drug him. Now, I guess that might look a lot like Alzheimer's. I don't know. But this man, we have conversations. We tell jokes. We plan things. Uh, he is a different person. And one of his longtime friends, uh, Sally and her husband, I think it's Ron, and um, they came to visit him the other day. Now, they've had both of their shots and have had them. And we have had both of ours. So, we were not worried. They couldn't believe how much better he was. They went over to visit him a couple of times at his last apartment. I am so thankful to God and my friends who helped me have that beautiful little cottage so that Terry was able to be taken out of that mess. And who knows, I might be pushing up daisies long before him. But maybe not. But I don't care if he has a month, six months, six more years. I want him to be happy. It's taken him a while, even though he has visited me many times. It has taken him a while to get you know, really comfortable. And that's the way it always is. When you move into a new place, they, whoever that is, says that for you to be totally comfortable in a new environment like that, it usually takes about six months. Um... I know I have to wash a bunch of dishes, eat a bunch of meals, shower many times, get dressed, get undressed, and sleep many times before I feel at home. I think he's been with me a month and a half. Um, he's just doing amazing the other day, I said, now his back was hurting when I got home. He was so proud of himself, y'all. He had all those dishes. He couldn't get the dish strainer out from underneath. So he laid out some paper towels on the countertop. And, um, and, and so he piled the dishes up there after he washed them and rinsed them. He was so proud of himself. I make sure to tell him every day, Terry, your bed looks so nice. You know, 
eventually, um, unless we die in a tragic accident or on an operating table somewhere or something like that, eventually, we all are going to need somebody. Family, friends, relatives, nursing homes, rehabs, whatever, to take care of us. Or we will need to take care of someone else. And I know a lot of y'all said, oh, Deborah Joy, that's a lot of responsibility. It is. But y'all have to remember, my middle name should be Bossy. It should be Deborah, or Deborah Joy, Bossy, controlling, and then whatever last name I happened to have at the time. And I, you know, blame it on my parents leaving me to watch my little brother for a couple hours every day when I was seven and he was five. Um, but I do my best to ask, not tell. And, and I don't do that all the time. Um, I always try to encourage him and push him a little. And he does better all the time. I am so thankful. I am so thankful that I am able to do this because it wouldn't have taken a lot longer with his blood sugar being up. Now it's, oh, it's just about always under 200 and we're working on that. Y'all, he has lost 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Instead of 199, he weighs, let's say that's 200, he weighs, I think it's like 179, 180. His doctor said, Terry, are you getting enough to eat? <laughs> he pointed at me. He goes, I get three meals a day. And I'm satisfied. But is it all I want? No. Do I get two snacks a day? Yes. Are they what I want? No. <laughs> Y'all, it is hard. Because when you love somebody, you want to make them happy. And you want them to have what they want. What makes Terry happy? is a lot of food. He was up to almost 250 before. Um, and he wants to eat everything that's bad for him. Now, the downside to all that is I have lost, how much weight have I lost? I'm down to about 110, 111 pounds because I'm depriving myself too. But I do sneak out. Y'all know that. M&M's. Peanut M&M's. But y'all, I, I am so happy that God chose me to help Terry and be there for him. I'm doing everything I can to make him happy. Uh, he has this uh, big dream. And um, I'm going to try to make that come true. And it'll, it's a dream of mine too. But y'all, um, the transformation is just ridiculous. Ridiculously wonderful. The other day, I, I was kind of looking around at something he could do. And I said, oh, his company was coming over. And, you know, there's nothing like company to light a fire under your butt and, you know, 
do some stuff. So I said, hey, Terry, could you do me a favor? I'm going to help you down the stairs, but could you take this broom and sweep those leaves off the patio? Yeah. So I just watched him go down the stairs, and I stood out of the way, and I watched him. He had no problem. He was sweeping those leaves. He said, where am I supposed to put them? I said, put them over there on the side that has the rocks, and I'll pick them up later. He was so proud of himself. I am so proud of him. He sneaks occasionally, like I put the dipper for the coffee, coffee in a certain position. And occasionally I'll notice if I've been gone, it's in a different position. <laughs> it's all decaf. So, you know, I don't, I, I frankly, I don't know if I could teetotal, well, not teetotal. We found some dark 96% cacao Jared Dolly or whatever that's called, little squares of chocolate. I can't eat them. They are bitter and nasty, but they have no sugar. So that's what Terry gets, and he thinks it's a good treat or fruit. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to, I can't upload this now because I've got to make these returns in Coles and I've got to get that done, but man, oh man, has it been, it's really pretty much almost turned me off of shopping. That's saying a lot. But I love y'all. I think about you all the time. I pray for you, especially in the morning when I wake up. Um, I so appreciate y'all. And, you know, Linda's having a hard time, and and um, there's a few of my friends. Joan thinks that she has finally had her last aneurysm surgery. Let's please just keep praying, and that they're going to be not only whole, but better than they were before. And I love y'all and any of you, I, I do a group thing, Lord, any of this community that is suffering in any way, please just, just bless them. So y'all, I know I'm way, you know, out of whack and, and you know, I think about just shutting down my channel completely, but I don't really want to because I figure after I can get this house paperwork thing under control, I'll have more time. Um, it won't be very long, and I'll be uh, doing a little video of Terry's uh, man cave in the living room. And everything he has picked out has been on his own. So, um... That's where I'm at right now, right outside of Kohl's. And I have too many boxes for one shopping cart. Wish me well. I love y'all. Do something fun today. I purposely set up picking up groceries at 2 o'clock, and it's almost 11, so I would get out of there and not be in there all day. So do something fun. Keep on being safe. These young people are so selfish. So selfish. It's sad. I know it's hard for everybody. But if everybody would just do we'd already be over this we would we would so i love y'all i will talk to y'all later and i hope i can get at least this one video out talk to y'all later bye now